Hello friends, let's check out the garden. So we got some cherry tomatoes there. Parsley, yellow squash. Going into the greenhouse. Tomatillos, lots of flowers, no blossoms yet. Up there, we have cucumbers, mint in the middle, more cucumbers. Our tomato plant here. We just planted some basil from seed, and look at that. It is amazing. If you can smell it, it smells awesome. Our broccoli needs some water. If you notice the white powder on these, it's that diatomaceous earth I've been using. These are chili plants. Here is another cucumber, and it's just crawling all over the place and grabbing things. Uh, more tomato plants right here. That's an eggplant there. We had a blossom, but no fruit yet. And another cucumber plant there. Another one there. We're just going to let that one fall out of the bucket and down. I mean the vines. Um, another pepper plant. Here we have a bell pepper plant, and you can see a little bell pepper back in there too. As well as in here we have two little bell peppers there, and two on this one as well. And there are some chili peppers right there growing on that one. So that is that. Let's go to the raised garden beds. Out we go. And here we have... Our beets and it looks like some are ready. That one looks sizable. I love beets, they're delicious. And there's a big one right there. So probably need to be thinned out a little bit and uh, harvested. So those are great. More diatomaceous earth. On the zucchini. These ones here are our carrots. And a little yellow squash there. Here is another yellow squash, and as you can see, we have a few growing there. Our kale was being eaten. Wait, hang on. This is not kale, this is Swiss chard. was being eaten, so I sprayed it with a bunch of diatomaceous earth. Um, still a lot of holes in there. I don't know if that was pre or post earth. I try to dust the bottom of the leaves, but it's difficult to do. All right, and here we have a giant wild onion. It's growing huge, and a potato plant with that. Okay, so what? Uh, was really neat is my wife discovered look at this growing off of the potato plant uh, appears to be tomatoes um, and you can see it's growing right off the potato plant here so that's amazing I didn't know I've never seen anything like that before so we have other we have uh, peas growing here, climbing up, and another yellow squash plant, and there's one right back in there. Okay, thanks for watching.